Mars astronauts are going to protect themselves from deadly cosmic radiation by covering their spaceship with their own poop. Which means maybe I'm not sad about never becoming an astronaut. Hey guys, Anthony here for D News, and you might have heard of the Inspiration Mars Foundation recently. This is a nonprofit organization started by billionaire Dennis Tito to send a private spacecraft on a mission to slingshot around Mars. And one of the big announcements he made was that he was looking for a middle aged married couple to man the mission, partially because they know how to get along and support one another in isolation, and partially because all of the cosmic radiation somebody would be exposed to on the mission would likely sterilize them, and a middle aged couple would be beyond reproductive age. Now, cosmic rays are a huge concern in long-term space travel, whether somebody's looking to have kids or not. So how do you shield your intrepid explorers from cosmic radiation on a non-profit's budget? Easy, you recycle the astronauts' poop into insulation. Basically, as the astronauts relieve themselves, they fill large bags, and those bags are then used to line the walls of the inside of the ship, protecting them from radiation and making everyone feel crazy icky, I would imagine. It's actually a pretty ingenious system when you think about it. All that waste piles up, it might as well be put to good use. See, the bags start off filled with drinking water and lining the walls of the ship. And as the astronauts drink, the bags get swiped from food storage to waste collection. The waste bags get put back up on the walls and then, over time, recycle their contents into more clean drinking water. Okay, it's nasty, but it's cost efficient, it's space efficient, and it's honestly the best way to block radiation. See, water is better than metal or other materials at the job because it's the nuclei and molecules that block cosmic rays. And water molecules are tiny, just three small atoms, and that means they contain more nuclei per volume than metal does. And the water doesn't get irradiated, it just kind of deflects the energy. And when all the bags are up, the astronauts have this 40 centimeter thick liquid shield. A nasty, nasty liquid shield. See, one of the issues they still haven't worked out is how to deal with the sights and smells of being surrounded by your own waste as it breaks down into water, which is like the first issue that I would want dealt with. The team is testing more pleasant bags to add to the system like bags that grow algae for food or scrub carbon dioxide out of the air. They're all designed to use natural processes instead of mechanical ones that would be more prone to failure because you do not want failure at 140 million miles away. Although, I might take a mechanical failure over one of those bags tearing when I'm trapped alone in a tiny capsule. Ugh. I don't know, what do you think, space cadets? Could you handle recycling poop, surrounding yourself with poop, drinking water reclaimed from poop, basically living a poop-centric lifestyle if it meant that you got to go to Mars? Let me know and subscribe for more D-News. Poop. I didn't say it enough.